after the debate, Fetterman's comms director, the campaign comms director, blamed Fetterman's performance. His, I mean, it was a debacle, right? Blamed his performance on the closed captioning. This was the first debate, I think, in American history for a United States Senate race that used closed captioning because the candidate for office, Fetterman, could, can't has auditory processing issues and speech issues, obviously. And so they allowed closed captioning in the debate, which in my opinion should have been disqualifying in the first place. If you have that serious of uh, an audi- uh, auditory processing issue, I'm sorry, it doesn't impact the dignity of your life. Of course, it does impact your ability to be a United States Senator. That was pretty obvious last night to everyone who watched it, or obvious two days ago, um, to everybody who watched this. This is a severely neurologically compromised individual, and he shouldn't be in the United States Senate. But the comms director blamed his terrible performance on closed captioning malfunctioning. But here's the funny part. Well, two funny parts. First of all, we could actually see, we as the viewers could see the closed captioning that Fetterman could see. And there didn't appear to be some giant malfunction that would have rendered Fetterman unable to understand the question. In fact, I believe that the debate moderators and the network that was airing the debate deliberately showed the viewers the closed captioning that Fetterman was seeing in order to avoid preemptively address these these kind of false allegations about closed captioning. So it's a lie. I mean, the also the service that provided the closed captioning, Nexstar, denied that there was any significant problems whatsoever. So the comms director is a liar. But this is the thing. What struck me most about this particular lie is just that the left lies. And maybe I shouldn't be surprised by this because every leftist that I know tells lies. But when you see it again and again and again, it just does sometimes hit you. This is so shocking. This is exactly what communists do, right? They take something that is true and they they gaslight you. They tell you that you're crazy if you think that what's true is true and try to convince you that what's false is true. And that's exactly what the Fetterman campaign was doing after the debate and to try to excuse his debate performance. At the same time, by the way, his comms director was praising his performance, saying that he he really gave it to Dr. Oz, but also blamed his performance on the closed captioning. So you can't really have it both ways, but his comm director or his campaign is pretty desperate.